Hi everyone, welcome to today's Tuesdays at 2. I'm trying to get organized with my little microphone. I'm, I bought a different microphone and that'll be showing up sometime this week, so hopefully that'll work even better than this one. So, um, welcome. Thanks for joining me. If you're new, I appreciate you checking it out and if you've been here before, Thanks for coming back. So I'm trying to find my live on my Facebook page on my phone here. So if there's any comments, there we go. Turn the volume down. I keep. I always forget to do that. So anyway, hi Vicky. How are you? It's warm here. <laughs> Oh, it's too early in the year to turn on the air conditioning, I think. So, anyway, um, today I'm going to be previewing you some um, new products. They're mentioned in the catalog just very briefly. And it, Stampin' Up! is coming out with a, a new kits collection. And these are basically for people who maybe don't feel that they have enough creative ability to do a card or don't have enough space to craft or keep supplies or maybe you're just starting to stamp or you maybe just have a limited amount of time um, like students or moms or professional people but love the idea of making your own cards to bless your friends and family with and these are made for those folks in mind um, each kit is all-inclusive if you look at the catalog on page 8 and 9, there aren't any other kits in the catalog except for this brown box and the Paper Pumpkin subscription. The Paper Pumpkin subscription is still going to be around. This is not replacing this. This is what we're talking about today, the little brown boxes. So um, each kit is all-inclusive, and that only means that, that means that all you'll need is a pair of snips for cutting trim. Maybe, you may not even need that. It even comes with a little clear block. Um, I have one handy here. Here we go. But I'm going to be showing you the kits in the... Anyway, so um, you'll see those in a second. And these are going to be lower cost than the kits that have been in the catalog previously. Some kids will have stamping. Some won't. Um, and these will be available online while supplies last. That doesn't mean they're just going to be there for a short period of time, but they'll be there and then when that supply is depleted then another um, kit will take its place. And they're starting out with 10 kits and if you're a demonstrator, um, these are cash and carry. So you can buy a bunch and sell them to your customers um, in person. So that's a good thing. And so I just wanted to introduce a few of these to you, and I'm actually going to be starting um, some new classes uh, featuring the kits. Um, they're going to be the second Saturday of the month. There's going to be one that's in person in my home, and that'll be at 10 o'clock. And then I'm going to be doing a, a Zoom one um, at 6.30 that same day. And what you'll do is you'll look at the kits online. You'll be able to look at them in the Stampin' Up! store. Take your kit, buy it, like a, at least, I would say, at least 10 days before the class. And then we get together either virtually or in person, depending on which class you pick. And we put our kits together. Together. <laughs> um, or, you know, we'll do it on Zoom, and then I'll send out a link to those people that have... Um, reserved a spot so um, let's see uh, you can buy the kits at my website SharonBrennan.StampinUp.net and let's see I think my favorite part about the zoom will be I'll be able to craft with people that aren't local or maybe a local person couldn't make the in-person class and still wants to do it at zoom that night so that works too um, so if you're coming in person bring your own favorite favorite beverage and I'll have a um, some treats and let's see 
kind of make it more like a party. I think it'll be fun and get to meet new people. And um, so I have all the details on my calendar. If you go to SharonBrennan.stampinup.net, click on events and my calendar will show up. And all the details for any of my events are there. So um, that being said, we're going to go through a few of the kits today. I'll just show you what, what's in them. Um, some of these have been our paper pumpkin kits that have been repurposed. So um, that means that some of them have been redesigned a little bit. So um, I will show you. Let's see, I wanted to show you this one last. Well, I'll. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Horrible sinuses. I'm going to put my phone down on my desktop and um, see how this goes. Get, get it lined up here. So this is what the box will look like. I hope you can see that. Um, it's it like a 20 minute, 20 second lag from when I put my phone down to where it appears on my Facebook page, so I'm just trying to make sure that everything is lined up. Okay, you kind of move this in a little bit, maybe. Maybe that'll help. Or does this need to go out? <laughs> I don't know. Can you see it, Vicki? I, I could raise it up a little bit, too. But this is the way the box will show up. And they're all going to be brown boxes. The paper pumpkin boxes, actually, I have one sitting here. Um, I just have my batter up one sitting here. The paper pumpkin boxes will still say paper pumpkin. And the, they have the name of the, um, the, the kit and the date and the year on it. These will just have this little label on it, and this one is called You Are My Anchor Kit. And this one was a paper pumpkin kit a few years ago. Let's see. I have some of the old paper pumpkin. I've labeled them. I put them in little cases. So this one is actually from 2018 in April, and I use this one a lot because I do matchbooks for my um, our church well, for our blood, blood drives and I tried to print out a picture and it turned out really huge so I'll post a picture later instead of <laughs> showing you the really huge picture because <laughs> it kind of was losing the definition so actually I'm just going to cut this off you don't have to do this this just has the name of the kit on it and I'm going to attach that so, all of the boxes will come wrapped like this with plastic around them and it'll have your address probably on the bottom side on the plastic so you can actually reuse the box or something else if you want later so you open up the box and you will get in this case you'll get a Pacific Point um, stamping spot and this is a stamp set so this one has the same sentiments as the previous one. And I use this, you are my, let's see, you are a lifesaver. And I make these little matchbooks and um, put a lifesaver in, in front in it. And then I, um, I set the box aside. And then I stamp it. So. But the, everything, like I said, is all inclusive. And so that means you get the block. So if you're just starting out, these are great because you get a block to stamp with. And if you get a few cart or sick kits, then you'll have a few blocks to work with. You'll get dimensionals if they're called for. There is, um, this is a little bit heavier than the lemon thread. That's a, like a crumb cake baker's twine. This kit, oh, I should show you. It'll have... This um, chipboard, which you can use for something else if you want. 
and the directions. And they've changed the directions. So it has the name of the kit on here. It has it shows the projects. And then it has step-by-step -step directions. And they're now in color. Before it was like maybe four pictures, and you kind of had to guess. At least I just looked at the pictures, and I always fail miserably when I put these together because I don't read directions. I just look at the pictures. Anyway, there's like step-by-step -step directions for all the different projects. And then the class, we'll just do the projects as they appear in the kit. And then, sorry. <coughs> Gosh. Drink a lot here. And it will also tell you or show you everything that's in the kit. So this kit has these little envelopes, three by three. And let's see, there's like, what? six of them and I love the kits because they have the envelope looks are always decorated and these are here's some more envelopes <laughs> so it must it usually says how many are in the kit and it always tells the colors too so if you want to repurpose it for something else do an alternative idea with it you can do that let's see um, they always just tell you how many pieces you got. I, it, probably here I'm just missing it. Anyway, these are little um, slides for the box. They go like this. Because this kit you make little boxes with. Let's see, right there. And here are the boxes. Oh, and these are even better than the original kit. Um, much easier to put together than originally. And I don't think we had this paper before. So here's some little cards. There's, oh goodness, four different patterns. Five. One, two. Am I not miscounting? One, two, three, four, five. Five different patterns of little three by three note cards. So this is going to be fun. And this is what I was waiting for. I really wanted this kit because I use these on my math books. I put them on the front. And I don't have any. I've given them all to the church. I don't even have one to show you. So it has all the um, pieces that you'll need. And usually in these, the paper pumpkin kits, I'm not sure if this will be the case with these, you always ended up with extra parts. And so then here's like the label. So and he, these little labels have little holes that you can attach with string. And there are some blue dots. So that is everything in this kit. And it is called um, You Are My Anchor. And this would be great for Father's Day, I think. Or um, anybody, that, you know, that you want to tell them that how much they've encouraged you. So... I'm going to put this all back in the box, and we'll move on to the next one. So I'm going to show you, I've got like six of them I'm going to show you here. So this is You Are My Anchor, and these will become available June 1st. Now, here's another one. This is another one that is called um, No Matter the Weather, and this was another paper pumpkin kit. And I loved this one. Here are a few cards that I made with this kit. I love I love these boots. I think they're just adorable. And there's another one that I did and we'll look at the pieces, but those are the cards that I made from the previous kit. And this one came out right during COVID. I think it was like March. Um I have that set sitting here. Let's see, yep I do. Actually and I know with Paper Pumpkin, and I haven't inquired yet, but with Paper Pumpkin, they actually um, provide a case insert so you can put everything in the DVD cases that we sell. So this is the previous set, and this was, yep, March 2020. So it has these adorable little cards. These are like bases. 
the background. I love those boots. And then here's like stormy weather. And not stormy, but it's kind of cloudy out. <laughs> and look at these gorgeous envelopes. See what I mean? The envelopes are all have beautiful um, printed liners inside of them, which I love. And here are the directions. So in this case, here are the um, different cards you can make, and I guess those are the ones I showed you. But I did something a little different with uh, one of them. Paper pump is a previous paper pumpkin kit too. You can join the um, paper pumpkin fan group. Hi Pam, nice to see you. The paper pumpkin um, fan group, and they always provide alternative ideas. So here are the card bases for these. And there's some more card bases. So I'd be interested after you watch this what your favorite kit is. Um, or while you're talking, let me know which one um, you like. So here are the, the little banners or labels. And aren't these adorable? I just love these boots. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not sure why. But I, I think they're adorable. And in this kit, you get the um, basic gray. And you know what I love about the Stampin' Spots? If you have a Stamparatus, it is so nice to be able to stamp on your Stamparatus with these rather than a big pad um, because you get, um, you don't get so much all over the Stamparatus itself. So here is the stamps. You can read that. But there's a couple clouds, and here's some dirt and the sentiments. Um, wishing you brighter days ahead. This was uh, so appropriate for COVID. Um, no matter the weather, we're in this together. And some hearts and some raindrops. And I'm, I think this is probably rain coming down. And let love grow, it says. So, and then there was some baker's twine, and there are your glue dots and your dimensionals and another um, stamping block and all of the stamps will fit on this stamp they're designed that way so this is called no matter the weather so I, this is one of my favorites so, and i'll be interested to see what they come out with um after they when they switch over from previous paper funky kits so that one I love that one. And I will be putting these together in my classes. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, virtually and uh, in person. So this one, I am a tropical girl. I love flip-flops, the beach, um, anything to do with <laughs> with the beach, tropical life. So this one is called a little smile art kit. So let me see if I can get something black and some white right here. So it's got these cute little stamps with sand dollar and some seaweed and the starfish and the sentiment. Um, thank you. Just the smile. Um, my day is better because of you. You make my day special and you are amazing. And this, I was watching, I saw this, um, and I'm guessing it's supposed to be like seaweed or something. <laughs> but I was watching MASH at the beginning of the show and the netting they have, it reminded me <laughs> of that netting. Don't ask me why. But look at these adorable, oh, look at, look at these adorable little envelopes. They're plastic, and they're printed. Aren't they just cute? And you would make these cards up. I'll get the directions out here. I get too excited about things. So these are, you make up these cards, and you put them in this little envelope to give as a gift. Now, isn't that fun? Look at these cute envelopes. I believe this is probably um, Calypso Coral, and 
an old olive, and it's got the wood grain to it. I just love them. And then here are some cards. Some little itty bitty cards to put in the little itty bitty envelope. Now these, of course, are not mailable. This is something that you would want to hand deliver. And look at this glitter. I haven't looked at these kits before, so I'm looking at them with you the first time, except for ones that I've had. But the sand dollars and the um, starfish. And there are some wood grain labels. Oh, I'm loving this one. There's some plain labels. Here are some more cards. There's kind of a wash of ocean. And look at these laser cuts. Aren't they gorgeous? Tell me, what do you think this is? Seaweed? I don't know. This is seaweed. Or is this like coral? I bet you it's coral, isn't it? as much as I love the beach, you think I'd know. And this one has some linen thread with it. Of course, another block. And Coastal Cabana. Did I say Coastal Coral? I meant Coastal Cabana. What I think and what I say is sometimes two different things. And then here are some other lake laser cut uh, die cut, cut pieces. I love these palm trees. Like I said, anything tropical, I love. So they're kind of just falling out. You can see how easy they come out. So these are really great to have, um, maybe to do with your grandchildren, or um, to go to the lake, to the cabin. I used to take them with me on my camper um, and do them there. Or I also have um, taken them with me um, on a business trip, or you know, if I had to stay in a hotel overnight. I would take it with. So it's got, like I said, here are all the pieces. And I'll post pictures of, I can take pictures of this, these kits, but I can't post the pictures that Stampin' Up! is providing already. So not until June 1st. But anyway, I'm loving this kit. I love the colors. I love the stamps. Oh, okay, another favorite. <laughs> Here is one. This one is called For the Guys. And I've never had this one before. And this one would be great for Father's Day. So here are some, like, um, what do you call those? Uh, plaques. <laughs> Father's Day plaques, like an award. And it's got some little evergreens and some plaid that reminds me of golfing. And the sentiments, like there's something dark and white here, kind of, so are those, yep, so some of them are backwards, some of them are forward, so there we go, happy to you, father, birthday, anniversary, thank you, dad, brother, uncle, grandpa, friend, husband, grandson, all male, um, pronouns. <laughs> Is that what they are? I don't remember. It's been a long time since I took English class. Anyway, there are some cute little die cuts of mountains. And you know, you could actually use these um, leftover pieces for sponging um, on a card. Say if you wanted to sponge a lake or something or a mountain you could actually use the leftover pieces the negative pieces from the die cuts here are some more cute little cards and they have the plaid and the wood grain on them and so that I should cover this up so you can actually see it so that's that's what this looks like and here are some of the the beautiful foil um, labels silver foil Oh, and these are much bigger than I thought they would be. Um, these are also silver. It looks like a crumb cake um, plaque. And the stampin' spot is multi metal. Let's see what else we got in here. There's a lot in this one. Here are the cards. And I don't know if you can see that. They're like a really light, like... Um, 
I am guessing this is soft sea foam. It's like a very light green. So those are those are going up right there, like that. And then we have some labels that are crumb cake and white in silver. And then here are some forests. And like I said, I love it. I love the cards because or the envelopes because they are all printed inside. And you know what's nice about the kit? You have the cards, you have the envelopes, you have everything you need. All, all you need to do is put it together and mail it. Um, dimensionals and blue dots again, and another stamping block. So I love this kit too. It's gonna be one of my favorites. For for guys and the, I love that you can use the stamp you know you have the stamp left over and then you can make other things with it you know you could kind of just generally you could get so I'm pretty sure this is gray granite and you could just cut off a piece and rip it after you've used up all the pieces from here and make your own card that's similar to it so um, mossy metal and get my stamp from there and that is that one, and that one is called For the Guys. And I'll list the names and the product numbers on Facebook. Now I'll take another one. Now this was a previous one that we had. Um, I think I said, I said no. Yep. Okay, I wanted to show you. So this is called Let's Party. And this was a paper pumpkin kit from January 2019, and it is adorable, just adorable. It's got these um, pillow boxes, and I love the little kangaroos. There's actually a kangaroo set in the annual catalog that would pair really nicely with this. So this one has a misty moonlight. Um, and so this is a new color because in 2019 we didn't have that color. And another stamping block. And I was going to show you get a piece of white paper out here. So this is the stamp set from now. And it's got the chameleon and the birds and a balloon. Um, it's kind of like a birthday one. And here is the directions from the previous kit. And it was like Valentine's, so you had hearts and things like that. And we had little pink and blue pillow boxes. I bought several of these if you're wondering why I have it sitting around yet. <laughs> and I'm trying to find, oh, I think, maybe I have the stamp set over here. Uh, yep, here it is. Here is the previous stamp set. So it still has the chameleon and the birds and a different kind of diagonal hashing. It's got balloons instead of hearts. And then the sentiments are a little different because these are more geared towards Valentine. So um, I just wanted to show you that as a comparison as to what it was before. And then in this one, you get some tear and tape. And look at those cute dots. They look like Granny Apple Green and Mellow Mambo, I'm guessing. And then your dimensionals and tear and tape. And now the pillow boxes are blue. I should say Misty Moonlight. <laughs> and I think they were gold on before. So blue, and blue on one side and gold on the other. So you can put them together either way. So, and they they even have the little thumb holes. So um, so you would fold in this one first and then no, this one first and then this one so you could open it up easier. I believe that's how it went. And we've got some balmy blue and um, mellow mambo and maybe it's magenta madness. I should. 
see what the colors are in here. Do -do -do -do. Balmy Blue, Bumblebee, Crumb Cake, Granny Apple Green, Magenta Madness, and Misty Blue. Yep. So they went with the like 2019 or 2020, 2022 in colors. And some labels. <laughs> I just think these kangaroos and the alligators are adorable. I love this tiny little bird. We actually had um, DSP that was in the catalog that coordinated with this. And so I bought the whole kit and caboodle. And then here's some. You got, there's like two sheets of this, I think. Maybe not. I thought there was two. Feels like there should be two. But there's the labels and the background. I love those dots. So that is called, again, Let's Party Treat Packaging. So that'll be fun to put together. Um, it's nice to just to put on somebody's desk or now that people are getting back to work in offices and stuff. I have one more that was a previous um, paper company kit, and this one is called Sentimental Rose. And I do have one card left. Actually, it's a. Uh, let's see. I know what I do with it. There it is. I this isn't the one that came in the kit. I just kind of redid it, but this is the, the the flower that was in there. So I used some pieces from another paper pumpkin kit and <laughs> created that card. So, and this one, let's see. Let's see this. The rose, let's see. There, no. Happy birthday, thank you. It's got some really nice sentiments. It's great for Mother's Day. I actually just use this for a Mother's Day card. Best wishes. And I love the flower and the um, the leaves. So it almost looks not quite like the um, distinctive ones that we have, but kind of close. So those are the stamps. And these are the directions. So this is what's in this kit. So you have three cards. The stamp and block again and some enamel dots and there's your dimensionals and your white baker's twine and this one has the gray granite stamp and spot and your adhesives well, here are the cards Ooh, yes one of these has like corrugated this one here has a corrugated background so if you can see that i mean it, it's truly corrugated <laughs> Can you see that way? And then it has the kind of a wash background flower. And then these are pre printed with the flower. And this one goes here. I love this. I don't remember if these are the same um, backgrounds that they had before or not. And again, the envelopes, which are printed with a uh, different colored liner. Love it. They're really subtle. This one actually has some lettering on there if you can read that. Um, is there another envelope? I would think there would be. Maybe they're farther down. Yep. And here's some more corrugated um, pieces for another one of the cards. And they actually, this one has some um, tape on the back of it. So I have to check that out. And here are the card backgrounds. This is another some gray granite, some circles, or dots, whatever you want to call it. Here's the other envelope with the flirty flamingo inside. And I'm guessing this card goes with the one that has the writing on the envelope. And there's some more. Oh, this one's got a little ink or something on. Oh, it's paper. Got caught in the in the corrugating. So these are some banners with the corrugating. 
a banner and then just a, a strip. And a lot in this one too. I love it when they do cards. Here's a real, like a honeycomb in the bumblebee. Oh, and here's some die cut um, flowers. And some different labels in the bumblebee. And I'm guessing this is probably just jade and flirty flamingo and a couple little labels. And then what you do, you make all those cards and you put them in this uh, acetate box and you give them as a gift. Isn't that sweet? If you want to. Or you can just hand deliver them to different people. These you could actually mail because if it's 3 by 5 then you can mail them. It would be large enough to mail. So, I'll do Let's see a couple sheets of those. I think I love the colors on this wash. It's so pretty. And you could actually do that yourself too. Um, I'm hoping in the near future to actually do a alcohol wash um, inspired by the ex expressions in ink um, papers and things. So those are the envelopes again. So there's that. And like I said, there is there may be some kits that will not have stamping. And I actually do have one of those. So, this is the kerchief one. And it's prepackaged just like everything else. I haven't opened this up yet. And this is actually a celebration item from like maybe a year ago or so. Pull this out. And there is no stamping because all the sentiments, I want to get this out here, glue dots. And then, oh, that's one thing I wanted to mention too. Don't make sure you look at the back of your um, chipboard because that's where your directions are. <laughs> I've almost thrown them away a couple times. So, here is, and this one is in three different languages. French, German, and English. So, and like I said, there's no stamping. So you just, very basic, just put it together. Thinking of you celebrating today. There's two rows, and then there's these cute little handkerchiefs. Um, card back see? in blue or red. I'm guessing it's probably Poppy Parade. And then here's some in blue. And then these gorgeous gold foil laser cut leaves and flowers. And some more of that. Um, I guess it's baker sign that's like a crumb cake. And oh, aren't these pretty these envelopes? I love oh, my blue is my favorite color. And then there's some kind of like um blushing bride, I think maybe. I'm just guessing that's the color, so <laughs> it could be wrong. Then there are some little vellum squares. And again, this one is called Handkerchief um, Card Kit. Kerchief Card Kit. And when I say Handkerchief, and there's some really beautiful flowers and some blue laser cut ovals and some leaves and some vellum with gold dots on it. And I got a glue dot stuck to my finger someplace along the way. Those are the card kits. Here, it came right from here. Um, and I'm excited to do these. I'm excited to do the class. I hope you like these. Um, I should have a box to put this in. I have to figure out something. So, put that together. Um, I think these will be fun. Especially for... Um, 
newer camera or newer cameras, newer sampers or um, if you want to do something quick so you don't have a lot of space in your house or um, there's a lot of different ways that, that these could be used and I'm looking forward to doing the classes so if you're watching from a distance I hope you'll join my online zoom class again um, check my website SharonBrennan.stampinup.net and go to um, events and all of my events are there and I have some virtual events and I'm starting up my in-person classes um, this week I've got a Thursday night class and a Friday night class and it would be so much fun to see some friends again so um, anyway let me know which one of those kits is your favorite I'd love to hear and um, are you excited about getting to play with these I am they'll be so much fun <laughs> and I'm gonna have these on display for um, my in-person people on uh, Thursday and Friday so I'll set them up so they can take a look at them too and, but anyway thank you so much for stopping in I appreciate taking the time to, to join me today and um, you guys have a good day and take care and God bless you